Right? Yep. You're pushing it in like three, two, one? It's on. It's on right now? Yeah. That's that's good news. I am Dark Ice 1990 and we are having the the we're we're great. We're we're fucking great. It's gonna be good. We're making on this Monday night meal the Excaliburger! Yeah, I know. I put more thought in the name than what's actually on it. So, I thought about the name for weeks. I thought about what's on it during break at work today. But we're going to make homemade french fries with it, fresh cut fries. And we're going to start the burger first, and then we'll start the fries in a little bit. But I already have the pan for my uh, fries heating up here. And I'll show you how you find out if your fries are ready to go in the oil without burning yourself. You put a fry in your, just one, just one fry in your little ladle or whatever you're using. Mine's like plastic and that will melt if it's in there too long. But, willing to take the risk because I don't have any metal ones. You put it in and if it starts to sizzle right away, it's ready. But mine didn't. So mine's not ready to go in. It's almost hot enough, but you don't want to kill yourself because if it is hot enough, it'll sizzle real hard and you'll be like, oh my god, what am I going to do? But this burger is going to be great. We got two patties. We're going to build it like a Big Mac. I'm going to put barbecue sauce, lettuce, and pickles, and grilled onions on the bottom with a patty with white cheese on it. Then put another patty, uh, another bun on top with barbecue, lettuce, pickles, grilled onions, and a yellow cheese burger on top. Barbecue on this one, on top, with the sword in the stone, in the burger, and it's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic, but we got everything heating up, we got everything heating up, we're going to grill some onions, we're going to cook our burgers, we're going to talk for a little bit, gang, we're going to have a good time today. Last week we had our Monday night meal, and I manned the camera myself, and oh my god, was that the biggest shit show. One of the most hilarious shit shows in the whole universe, but a shit show nonetheless. My co-host on Twitch, Rob, Rob absolutely loved it. He was like, you gotta be like mad the whole time. Every time. I'm like, dude, I can't act that mad if I try. I, I, I just can't. But I'm gonna toast these buns here. I already got my oven on. It's already preheated. That's what that sound just was. And we're going to preheat that, and we're going to get some buns in there. And we got my butter melting for my onions, because I want my onions grilled. Raw onions are okay, but I didn't buy one of them fancy purple onions like that are good when they're raw. I bought a, a Spanish Vidalia onion, and those are good for grilling. You get them all hot, and they, they just taste a little bit better when they're grilled up. But I think that this is going to be ready to add some fries into, because it almost was before. If you're a fancy guy like me, yeah, there you go. One in. I'm going to add a few at a time. You don't want to add a bunch at a time because it'll splash at you. I mean, homemade fries are maybe the best in the world, but it is dangerous to make them. You don't want to make any mistakes. You don't want to drop them in too hard. They'll splash too, uh, too much at you. You'll burn yourself because one little splash and you'll be burned. It'll be over but we're gonna get some uh, fresh cut fries brewing in here. Yeah, I know everyone's probably like, well, it's not a for honor based burger today. You are kind of naming it like King Arthur, which is fine. We love our for honor more than anything, guys. We all do. But sometimes he's still a knight. It's Monday night meal. Let's give him and the round table some love. Alright, so I got these burgers, uh, not burgers, I got these fries in here. Those are going to cook up nice. I'll be checking them every so often. I won't forget either. It'll be great. I'm not going to forget. I'm putting these onions I diced up. Yeah, diced up these onions. Not diced them up, I sliced them up. I want my onions to be a whole slice instead of... I don't want that one. A whole slice instead of a bunch of diced ones. I want it to look good. Oh man, now! My dogs will eat that. Don't want that. Butter and onions smell so good, guys. So good. But my burgers are ready to go on. Everything's ready to go on at the same time. Isn't it fantastic? Alright, one burger on. 
And there is the second burger on. They were pretty big, pretty juicy. I made the burgers with very simple. I don't even know if I have an extra one to show you because I threw them away. I do not, but I have a different one. There's these marinades that uh, McCormick Grill Mates makes. You can get them at any grocery store. This one here is a tomato, basil, and garlic marinade. You marinate chicken in it. Then it's real easy to cook your chicken. They have a bunch of burger packets. I just used one of those. I didn't make my burger season from scratch. I didn't do anything that fancy. One, it was like a two for three, I think uh, my wife said they were when she bought them. She was like, here's two of these, make your burgers. They're gonna be great. I got one that is like Montreal steak version. So they're just gonna kinda taste like uh, steak burgers. They're gonna be awesome. They're gonna be badass. All right, boom, boom. My buns are already toasted. Very nice too. So I'm gonna get the barbecue sauce on them right away. While these burgers and these fries and these onions are cooking. Now this barbecue sauce, my wife was at the store for me when I was at work today. She was like, what do you want me to get for barbecue sauce? We like sweet baby rays in our house. If she's gonna buy barbecue sauce, that's what she's gonna buy. But I just didn't want a regular flavor. I didn't want original. I wanted something different. So she bought me the sweet Vidalia onion flavor, the sweet baby rays. I didn't even try it yet. We're gonna try it. Let's get it on here. Let's try a little bit. Tastes like original barbecue sauce with onions in it. So we're gonna put it on the bun, on all three. And then I'm gonna take my fancy red thing, my brush, brush it on like this. That way it doesn't droop in one area. I am the biggest anal motherfucker when it comes to condiments on anything. Right, Tammy? Yeah. I hate them. It's not that I hate them, but they gotta be specific and it's gotta be right. I don't wanna go to McDonald's and you give me like and that's it. I need it to be evenly spread on there or I'm gonna have a bad time. I mean, I know that everyone else is like, oh wow, that's a little redundant, that's a little ridiculous, why are you that anal? I think you guys deep down realize that that's how it needs to be. If it's spread on there even like that, it's not in one little area, and it's all over the burger, you get barbecue in every bite, and it's going to be delicious. And if you don't like it, then get off my back! Because you better like it. Anyway, Max, you're going to get burned being down there. My dog is, uh, there he is, show him. Constantly right next to daddy. I know. You're so fucking cute. I know. Alright, so he's in a way and that's alright. He's always gonna be every video. I kicked my youngest kid out of the living room. I said, get out of the living room and make him a video. My oldest kid's not even here. I mean, I'm so sick of them interrupting my videos, guys. It's like ridiculous. I can't stand it. But we got some lettuce. I'm not gonna use all this lettuce, don't. Don't think that I am, it's not, I'm not gonna use all of this lettuce. But I am gonna evenly distribute it on at least two of these uh, burger buns here. I don't need two too much, but I do like lettuce on my burgers. I don't know if a lot of people do, because I see a lot of people get burgers and they say no lettuce. A lot of people are like, oh, why would I want vegetables? I'm a man eater. I'm a meat eater. I just want the best. I don't want vegetables. But I like lettuce and onions and mushrooms and all that good stuff on my burger. I'd rather have mushrooms on my burger than I think bacon. I really do. I really like mushrooms on burger. I'm not putting them on this one, but I'm not putting bacon on it either. Bacon does make everything better, but I don't have that. We're not going to get... I'm already having a double burger here. And it's not a thin patty like you get at McDonald's for your Big Mac. This is this is going to need a knife in it. And when the knife goes in, there's no going back. All right? We're going to open these... I'm fucking... We're going to open these pickles. Help me! Ah! Got it. 
You put your hand out, were you gonna help me? Oh my god. Take a joke, I didn't really need help. Jesus. She was like... I'll help you. And I was like, I don't really need it. Jesus Christ. But, oh. My wife said to me, I really hope these pickles are good. When she bought them, because they're like generic. They're not like name brand. They're like the brand of my store put a emblem on to make it theirs, even though it was Heinz and expired. But they're still pretty good. But she was real worried. Oh my god. I hope your pickles are okay. Is that what you're worried about? About anything in this video? Is the pickles being okay? Pickles are okay. It's gonna be fine. Oh yeah, these burgers, I'm pounding them out. The juices are gonna stay in there because I'm cooking them on cast iron. I really enjoy cast iron when I'm making burgers. I know I said that in my last burger video, but that was the very first one we did. The Law Burger. That was 12 episodes ago. We're here. We're doing it. We're succeeding. No one's watching and no one's following, but I'm succeeding because I'm getting to make food for the family. Maybe one day they will. I don't know. Who gives a shit anyway if they do or not? But we are making our second burger. I just realized that. Well, no, I realized it, and I meant to say that, and I was finding a good time to say that. I already knew. I, I you know, I'm not an idiot. It's our second fucking burger. That's all. But... Besides me being a jerk and hungry, yeah, I'm hungry. Get over it. We're going to add this cheese onto the burgers, let it melt a little bit. This, uh, these onions are pretty good, I think. In my opinion, they got some brown on them. I'll put these ones right here. These few. We're going to go on this one. Right there like that. I want this one so bad. Yeah. Alright, so we got the onions. One more. I really do like onions a lot, guys. Now, what sucks about these videos for some people, like my, I'll just say it, my buddy Rob, what sucks for some people is... Some people like things that others don't, and the, the burgers and the, the sandwiches and everything that I make for these videos are the ones that I'm going to eat, like that I'm actually going to eat myself. And let me just say this, I don't like things that other people enjoy, like mayonnaise, but we are putting this together. Yeah, I don't like stuff like mayonnaise. I just got handed a knife by my wonderful and beautiful camera lady. Boom! Whoo! That is a fucking big as my face! It's gonna get wrecked! Oh, I'm gonna put it up against the wall and eat it. But I'm telling you, that is a good looking burger. If anyone went to a restaurant and seen the Excalibur burger on the menu and that was looking at you on your menu, you'd be like, give me three of those. It's really, really nice. These french fries aren't quite done yet and they're going to take a while. So I think we'll end the video short because you've seen the big finale. You've seen the Excalibur burger. It's going to go on a plate with those french fries. And it needs that knife or it's going to fall apart. That is a ridiculous sandwich. How am I going to eat that? I'll figure it out. I don't think my mouth's big enough for that burger. I mean, I talk a lot, but I don't think... My, I'll, I'm going to break my jaw trying to get a bite out of that burger. You kidding me? But it's got the lettuce for crunch. It's got the pickles and the grilled onions. It's got that barbecue sauce, the sweet baby rays, sweet Vidalia onion barbecue sauce. It was really, really good. Don't... Don't judge what I said based on it. If you want to try it, I would try it because it is real good. It's got the generic pickles. It's got white and yellow cheese on it. That barbecue sauce is everywhere. It's got the Big Mac style look. It's a badass burger and I keep looking at it. My mouth's kind of watering right now. So I'm going to go and eat it. You guys enjoy the rest of your week and I will catch you next Monday for a Monday Night Mail. Boom!